Hey ladies, Julie here with part two of our holiday series. Some tips and tricks to make holiday entertaining less stressful. Okay, so the first thing that you can do to make the holiday less stressful is to have a holiday open house. It is the way to go. It's game changing. Okay. So how many times have you been to a party where you're like, I haven't talked to so-and-so. I didn't even get to see her. And you were just like in and out because you had three houses that you had to be at for holiday parties. When you do the holiday open house, you are able to entertain from a chunk of time and enjoy your company. You can manage the traffic because people are coming and going. Some are staying longer. Some are stopping in for a drink. And that is the beauty of Holiday Open House, okay? So when you send out your invites to your guests, be extremely clear of what the Holiday Open House means because some people still just don't get it. So you want to say in your wording, stop by and celebrate with us when you can between whatever and whatever. So between three and nine, stop by and have a drink. Stop by when you're available you immediately will have more people showing up and you'll get to spend that quality holiday time because it's not going to be locked into be at dinner or don't bother coming. Have you heard that? Because I have. So this is more fun. This is less stressful. So we already decided that we're going to do this, right? You got to set yourself up for success. How many times have I said that? <laughs> from cleaning your bathroom to organizing your craft closet, you gotta set yourself up for success, all right? You don't wanna wake up that morning of the holiday open house and be like, holy crap, like what am I even making? All that stuff. So obviously have your guest list, write down what you're going to be serving. Typically three like entree style um, choices is enough three to five if you want to add in like a gluten-free option or a vegetarian option, okay? Anything that you can make ahead is going to save you time. So, you know, if you prepare like on a Sunday for your week normally, then double up on some things that you can serve for the holiday open house. You know you're, it's coming. Same thing with baking. If you bake for Thanksgiving, bake more and freeze it so you have it all ready one time making the mess, one cleanup, prepare, think ahead. So it is the night before your holiday open house, set out all of your serving pieces, put post-it notes inside of your serving pieces. So in the morning when you're setting up shop, you know exactly what goes in this chafing dish, this crock pot, this platter. Those are details that we forget about and if you did forget something or don't have enough of something, you're gonna catch it that night before. And then you can send out a text message, hey mom, bring me an extra platter. Hey so-and-so, can you do this for me? You have time to run in the store if you need to. You can catch that mistake. And it's just easy to visually see where everything is going to go so that you can style it and make it look pretty. Don't overload your food when you're putting it out. It's easier to add, it's less waste, it will stay fresher, etc. You'll have friends and family that will be obviously helping you and can fill in when you don't catch something immediately. If people ask you all the time for like a recipe, sometimes I get that when I make something in a crock pot, jot down on a cute Christmas recipe card and shove it under the crock pot. So if somebody asks you, it's a cute added touch. It's there and you can give it to them. And there's no like trying to remember the recipe ingredients. I do that all the time. Like it's two cans of this, like, and then I tell them the wrong thing. <laughs> so that's just me. Um, don't leave it to memory. Write it down on a card. Um, people enjoy those added little touches. Self-service stations. Okay, girl, you want people to stay and people will stay when they are drinking and their bellies are full. So if you have multiple stations set up, there's no clusters, there's no groups of people. Um, everybody can get to utensils, can get to plates if you have multiple stations. So set up a little like sampler of everything you're serving in multiple locations maybe on your dining room buffet, in your kitchen, on your coffee table, so that people can grab from different areas, 
the single food thing is the way to go if you're concerned about germs and cross-contamination. You can head over to Sam's and get the cocktail, cocktail size clear uh, plastic cup and it's perfect for like fruit cocktail, veggies with ranch in it. I put sliders in them with like a cute little cupcake topper stuck in it so that like people can grab it and eat over the cup and not make a mess and the germ things, you know, kill two birds with one stone, okay? So there you have it. Holiday open house style is the way to go. Have a signature drink if you want but keep your options limited, but have them in multiple locations, if that makes sense. Um, set yourself up for success. You have an idea, you wanna run it by me, of course, reach out. If your list is growing and growing, cater it, girl. Done and done. Happy holidays.